how to add a like box to your website. Okay, you go into your Facebook page, you click on edit page. Okay, we'll see this um, admin panel on the left hand side. We click on marketing, then within marketing it says add a like box to your website. You click on that link and then you want to enter your Facebook page URL. All right, so basically that's just the web address of your Facebook page. Okay, so I've entered in the URL for Inbound Zombie. Okay, and then I'm simply going to configure the dimensions. Okay, I'm going to pick the number of connections I want, 24. Okay, and then I also want to hide the Facebook stream. So the stream is basically the stream of content that's on my wall. That's too busy for my website. I don't want to include that. Okay. And then also what I want to do is I want to hide the header. Okay. Because when people see this generally they're going to see, oh, okay, we know what this is. And then the final step is I click on get code. New window opens up and you have two options. You have something called iframe, which plays nicely with a lot of websites. It won't give you any problems. XFBML, which is basically JavaScript, that may or may not play nicely with your web platform. It depends upon what you're using for your website. Okay, so I'm just going to take the iframe code. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to my Inbound Zombie website. And I use WordPress for my website platform. Everybody else who's watching this may use something completely different. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the code, okay, into a sidebar within my website. All right, I'm going to click on save, okay, and then I'm going to close this. And then if we go over to the Inbound Zombie website, I'm just going to click on the home page. We'll go right into Inbound Zombie, and we can see that it's on the right-hand side.